Hi, I'm Gary Liu, CEO of the South China Morning Post. Let's start with an understatement. China's tech industry is big. Not only does the Chinese internet now have more than 900 million users, which is larger than the populations of the United States, Russia, Mexico, Germany, the United Kingdom, France, and Canada combined, but 99% of those users are mobile. Now notice that I said the Chinese internet, because this ecosystem is truly unique, with companies that are no longer just copycats, but are instead more innovative and more valuable than their global equivalents. Let's look at three key trends in China's tech industry that is worth watching over the next year. Number one. COVID-19 will leave a lasting and transformative impact on China's internet and technology sector. The pandemic has dramatically shifted media consumption behavior across China, driving record high internet and app usage. Pre-COVID, Chinese users spend an average of 5.6 hours per day on the internet. And during COVID, that number spiked to 7.2 hours. More importantly, the number of monthly active users for specific categories of apps has surged Work productivity apps saw an increase of 308 million users. Short form video apps saw an increase of 123 million users. And educational apps saw an increase of 79 million users. That number is larger than the entire student population in the United States. More than 50 million students across 30 provinces attended virtual classes on DingTalk, a leading messaging app in China. One online classroom service provider, ClassIn, was hosting 200,000 students daily before the epidemic, but now they see an average of 2 million students a day. Several cutting-edge technologies also played important roles in containing the virus, resulting in increased investment and application development. For example, artificial intelligence was widely used to analyze CT scans and diagnose patients suspected of having the virus. Now usually, it takes a doctor 5 to 15 minutes to analyze a scan. But AI can complete the recognition process within 20 seconds. Pingan Good Doctor, China's largest platform for remote medical consultations, saw a 10x year-over-year -year increase in new registrations during the pandemic. We should expect this accelerated digitalization of traditionally offline industries to continue and to transform day-to-day -day life in China. Number two. 2020 will be a year of mass adoption for 5G in China. By the end of this year, the country is expected to reach 160 million 5G subscribers with a massive infrastructure push worth 25 billion US dollars, adding nearly 500,000 additional 5G base stations that could mean coverage across all of China's major cities. Of course, 5G's impact will also extend into China's rural areas. And in April, Chinese engineers even installed a base station on Mount Everest, providing 5G for most of the mountain, including its summit. In addition, China's smartphone brands are introducing dozens of moderately priced 5G smartphones to drive adoption. In the first half of this year, we've already seen more than 30 new 5G smartphones launched by brands such as Huawei, Xiaomi, Oppo, and Vivo. Now, according to a global survey, Chinese consumers have the highest intent to upgrade to 5G, as well as the highest willingness to pay more for 5G speeds, which can reach 100 times that of 4G. Although this speed is mostly a concept around the world, in China, many mass-market 5G consumer applications are already nearing launch. As one example, China's three largest telecom carriers are joining forces to introduce a 5G messaging service in 2020 that will replace SMS. Users will be able to exchange text, photos, video, and audio at 5G speeds directly through the network messaging protocol. But of course, 5G means much more than just faster download speeds and reduced latency. It will be the connective tissue that enables truly smart cities, fully autonomous vehicles, remote surgeries, etc., etc. Honestly, it is the backbone of the next quantum leap in technology, and China is off to a running start. And number three, live streaming continues to evolve and expand in China, where it first gained momentum in 2014, primarily around gaming, sports, and teen culture. It then became explosively popular for commerce, mostly being used to sell fast-moving consumer goods like beauty products. Case in point, the country's most important beauty influencer is a man named Li Jiaqi, otherwise known as the king of lipstick, 
who rose to fame through live streaming and once sold 15,000 lipsticks in under five minutes. Now, live streaming is being used by all kinds of traditional industries to increase sales, such as in real estate, automotive, and travel. In April, China's live streaming sales queen, Via, even managed to sell a five and a half million US dollar rocket launch service. Recently, we're also seeing more and more tech executives and entrepreneurs becoming live streaming stars themselves. Gree Electric Appliances chairwoman Dong Mingzhu, also known as China's home appliances queen, sold 43 million US dollars of goods in just a three hour live streaming event. China's live streaming market is expected to increase to 613 million users by the end of this year, with a market size of 16.3 billion US dollars. As China's internet population continues to grow, and it will grow because there are still 500 million Chinese not on the internet, we should expect to see these evolutions and innovations continue to accelerate and no doubt impact and influence the rest of the world. It's definitely worth paying attention to.